let me show you how to launch a WordPress site on a BPS using CloudStick. That means that CloudStick is going to be our BPS manager, and that's where we're going to launch our WordPress site. So let's go do it right now. What's up, everyone? This is CloudStick, and I already have my BPS connected to it. If you don't know how to install a BPS on CloudStick, I will be leaving a link to a video that shows you how. So the idea is to launch a WordPress site here on CloudStick. Now, before I show you, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They are providing the BPS that we're going to use to install this WordPress site. Now, if you want to grab a BPS, head on over to the link in the description, go to hosting, BPS hosting, and in BPS hosting, you're going to find their BPS plans. Now, they have several plans depending on the needs of your website. So in this case, I'm going to show you the KVM2, which is the most popular one. So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. Now, once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, down here, there's a little area that says have a coupon code. So this is the current price. But if I add my coupon code that I'm going to provide you, it's SAS Master, and we're going to apply it. The price is going to drop even lower. Remember, this price is already for 24 months. So here we go. It's $150 with 98 cents for 24 months. So if you plan to grab a BPS, use my coupon code. All right, so let's jump over to CloudStick. As I mentioned before, my BPS is already installed here and I'm going to open this BPS and I'm going to access the panel for this particular BPS. So I have my uptime, my CPU, system memory and this space. But what I want to do is launch a WordPress site. So we're going to go into websites and in websites, I'm going to create a website. Let's go ahead and select WordPress, but you can install other type of websites like a PHP site, Node, Nextcloud, Joomla, etc. In this case, WordPress, right? So let's add our email address, the website name. I'm just going to say test test. And then I am going to use my domain. So in this case, I'm going to use a domain. Here we go. And I'm going to create this on my DNS site. So remember, this VPS is this. IP address. So let me go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go into my DNS manager. Now, in this case, this is Cloudflare, but you can use the DNS manager from your hosting provider, even Hostinger, just connect it to this VPS, right? So I'm going to add a record and I'm going to say two for the test and I'm going to connect it to this IP address and I'm going to turn this off for now. It's going to be faster for this process, all right? So here we go. So two is the subdomain. So here we go to dot.anyloofer.com. In this case, Cloudflare, I'm not going to select it. System user, I'm going to say my. The path, okay, the PSP version, I'm going to use the latest one, which is 8.1 on this one. Web application stack, I'm going to use Nginx plus Apache. The site title, I'm just going to say test. Admin username, same goes for the password, just for testing purposes. Okay, here we go. The admin password, I'm just going to say test here. So again, just fill this out with the correct information that you want to use, okay? Database password, we're not going to add one. It's going to generate, generate it automatically. Database user. And again, I'm going to use what I'm using right now. Table perfects, WP underscore. And you can use something else, which I do recommend. Don't use WP, all right? All right, let's go ahead and add the application. Had to make, a quick, had to make some quick changes there for a duplicate that already had a site created there. So let's go a few seconds, and it's going to create our website. There it is. You've added the website. So I'm not going to save this information. And remember, this is the subdomain right now. Let's go jump into that section. Here we go. And our WordPress site is now launched here on a subdomain using CloudStick. Now, inside of CloudStick, remember, we have data like, for example, the general, which I can change my PHP version here to a latest one or a previous one. WordPress debugging, maintenance mode, search index, enable auto updates. You got your users here. You can add users. You can view the plugins here to remove them, enable disable, etc. all from here. So in this section, it helps you out with WordPress, things that you don't find normally on a BPS manager. OK, now in my WordPress site, I'm going to go into my login section, which is wp.admin slash admin, which is a default login area. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add my details here really quickly. All right, let's go ahead and log in. And I'm in the back end of the WordPress site that I just launched right now. All right. And that's how you're going to launch a WordPress site on CloudStick. Don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab a BBS on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.